Canis Major is a constellation in the southern celestial hemisphere. In the 2nd century, it was included in Ptolemy's 48 constellations, and is counted among the 88 modern constellations. Its name is Latin for greater dog in contrast to Canis Minor, the lesser dog, both figures are commonly represented as following the constellation of Orion the hunter through the sky. The Milky Way passes through Canis Major and several open clusters lie within its borders, most notably M41. Canis Major contains Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, known as the Dog Star. It is bright because of its proximity to the solar system. In contrast, the other bright stars of the constellation are stars of great distance and high luminosity. At magnitude 1. 5. Epsilon Canis Majoris is the second brightest star of the constellation and the brightest source of extreme ultraviolet radiation in the night sky. Next in brightness are the yellow-white supergiant Delta at 1. 8. The blue-white giant Beta at 2. 0. Blue-white supergiant Zeta at 2. 4 and Omicron 2 at 3. 0, and white spectroscopic binary Zeta, also at 3. 0. The red hypergiant VY Canis Majoris is one of the largest stars known, while the neutron star RxJ0720. 4 to 3125 has a radius of a mere 5 kilometers. In ancient Mesopotamia, Sirius, named Koch. Si. Di by the Babylonians, was seen as an arrow aiming towards Orion, while the southern stars of Canis Major and a part of Puppis were viewed as a bow, named Ban and the three stars each tablets. Dating to around 1100 BC. In the later Compendium of Babylonian Astronomy and Astrology titled Mul.Apen, the arrow, Sirius, was also linked with the warrior Ninurta, and the bow with Ishtar, daughter of Enlil. Ninurta was linked to the later deity Marduk, who was said to have slain the ocean goddess Tiamat with a great bow, and worshipped as the principal deity in Babylon. The ancient Greeks replaced the bow and arrow depiction with that of a dog. Sirius A, the brightest star in the night sky, lies in Canis Major. In Greek mythology, Canis Major represented the dog Lelaps, a gift from Zeus to Europa, or sometimes the hound of Procris, Diana's nymph, or the one given by Aurora to Cephalus, so famed for its speed that Zeus elevated it to the sky. It was also considered to represent one of Orion's hunting dogs, pursuing Lepus the hare or helping Orion fight Taurus the bull, and is referred to in this way by Eratos, Homer, and Hesiod. The ancient Greeks refer only to one dog, but by Roman times, Canis Minor appears as Orion's second dog. Alternative names include Canis Sequins and Canis Altar. Canis Sirius was the name used in the 1521 Alphonsini tables. The Roman myth refers to Canis Major as Custos Europae, the dog guarding Europa but failing to prevent her abduction by Jupiter in the form of a bull, and as janitor Letheus, a watchdog. In medieval Arab astronomy, the constellation became al kalb al-Akbar, the greater dog, transcribed as al kaleb al ashbar by 17th-century writer Edmund Chilmead. Islamic scholar Abu Rehan al-Biruni referred to Orion as Kalb al-Jabar, the dog of the giant. Among the Marasig of Tunisia, Shepherds note six constellations that mark the passage of the dry, hot season. One of them, called Mertzum, includes the stars of Canis Major and Canis Minor and is the herald of two weeks of hot weather. Canis Major as depicted on the Maniature Globe made in Mashhad 1632-33 AD. A Dillner Collection, Sweden. Canis Major, observed above Kuantan in Chinese astronomy, the modern constellation of Canis Major is located in the Vermilion Bird where the stars were classified in several separate asterisms of stars. The military market was a circular pattern of stars containing Nu-3, Beta, Xi-1 and Xi-2, and some stars from Lepus. The wild cockerel was at the center of the military market, although it is uncertain which stars depicted what. Schlegel reported that the stars Omicron and Pi Canis Majoris might have been them, while Beta or Nu-2 have also been proposed. Sirius was Tianlong, the celestial wolf, denoting invasion and plunder. Southeast of the wolf was the asterism Hashi, the celestial bow and arrow, which was interpreted as containing Delta, Epsilon, Eta and Kappa Canis Majoris and Delta Valorum. Alternatively, the arrow was depicted by Omicron II and Eta and aiming at Sirius, while the bow comprised Kappa, Epsilon, Sigma, Delta and 164 Canis Majoris, and Pi and Omicron Puppis. Both the Maori people and the people of the Tuamotus recognized the figure of Canis Major as a distinct entity though it was sometimes absorbed into other constellations. 
Te Huinga o Rihua, also called Te Putahi Nui o Rihua and Te Kawi Takurua, was a Maori constellation that included both Canis Minor and Canis Major, along with some surrounding stars. Related was Taumata o Rihua, also called Pukawanu, the mirror of Rihua, formed from an undefined group of stars in Canis Major. They called Sirius Rihua and Takarua, corresponding to two of the names for the constellation, though Rihua was a name applied to other stars in various Maori groups and other Polynesian cosmologies. The Tuumotu people called Canis Major Moihanga Hedeka o Takarua, the abiding assemblage of Takarua. The Tharumba people of the Shoalhaven River saw three stars of Canis Major as Wanbula and his two wives Murambul and Mutha, bored of following their husband around. The women try to bury him while he is hunting a wombat down its hole. He spears them and all three are placed in the sky as the constellation Menorah. To the Burong people of Victoria, Sigma Canis Majoris was on Earth Unite, and its flanking stars Delta and Epsilon were his two wives. The moon sought to lure the further wife away, but on Earth Unite assaulted him and he has been wandering the sky ever since. Canis Major is a constellation in the southern hemisphere's summer sky, bordered by Minoceros to the north. Puppis to the east and southeast, Columba to the southwest, and Lepus to the west. The three-letter abbreviation for the constellation, as adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1922, is Trema. The official constellation boundaries, as set by Belgian astronomer Eugène Delporte in 1930, are defined by a quadrilateral. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between 06H12. 5 meters and 07H27. 5 meters, while the declination coordinates are between minus 11. 03 degrees and minus 33. 25 degrees. Covering 380 square degrees or 0. 921% of the sky, it ranks 43rd of the 88 currently recognized constellations in size. The stars of Canis Major as they can be seen by the naked eye, lines have been added for clarity. Canis Major is a prominent constellation because of its many bright stars. These include Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky as well as three other stars above magnitude 2. 0. Furthermore, two other stars are thought to have previously outshone all others in the night sky, Adhara shown at minus 3. 99 around 4. 7 million years ago, and Mirzam peaked at minus 3. 65 around 4. 42 million years ago. Another, NR Canis Majoris, will be brightest at magnitude minus 0. 88 in about 2. 87 million years time. The German cartographer Johann Bayer used the Greek letters Alpha through Omicron to label the most prominent stars in the constellation, including three adjacent stars as Nu and two further pairs as Xi and Omicron. While subsequent observers designated further stars in the southern parts of the constellation that were hard to discern from Central Europe. Bayer's countryman Johann Ellert Bode later added Sigma, Tau and Omega, the French astronomer Nicolas Louis de Lacaille added lettered stars A to K. John Flamsteed numbered 31 stars, with three Canis Majoris being placed by Lacayan to Columba as Delta Columbi. He also labeled two stars, his 10 and 13 Canis Majoris, as Kappa 1 and Kappa 2 respectively, but subsequent cartographers such as Francis Bailey and John Beavis dropped the fainter former star, leaving Kappa 2 as the sole Kappa. Flamsteed's listing of Nu 1, Nu 2, Nu 3, Xi 1, Xi 2, Omicron 1 and Omicron 2 have all remained in use. Canis Major as depicted in Urania's Mirror, a set of constellation cards published in London c. 1825. Next to it are Lepus and Columba. Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky at apparent magnitude minus 1. 46 and one of the closest stars to Earth at a distance of 8. 6 light years. Its name comes from the Greek word for scorching or searing. Sirius is also a binary star, its companion Sirius B is a white dwarf with a magnitude of 8. 4 to 10,000 times fainter than Sirius A to observers on Earth. The two orbit each other every 50 years. Their closest approach last occurred in 1993 and they will be at their greatest separation between 2020 and 2025. Sirius was the basis for the ancient Egyptian calendar. The star marked the great dog's mouth on Bayer's star atlas. Flanking Sirius are Beta and Gamma Canis Majoris. Also called Mirzam or Mirzam, Beta is a blue-white beta Cephei variable star of magnitude 2. 0, which varies by a few hundredths of a magnitude over a period of 6 hours. Mirzam is 500 light-years from Earth, 
and its traditional name means the announcer, referring to its position as the announcer of Sirius, as it rises a few minutes before Sirius does. Gamma, also known as Mulefane, is a fainter star of magnitude 4. 12, in reality a blue-white bright giant of spectral type BAE located 441 light-years from Earth. Iota Canis Majoris, lying between Sirius and Gamma, is another star that has been classified as a Beta Cephei variable, varying from magnitude 4. 36 to 4. 40 over a period of 1. 92 hours. It is a remote blue-white supergiant star of spectral type BIB, around 46,000 times as luminous as the Sun and, at 2,500 light-years distant, 300 times further away than Sirius. Epsilon, Omicron 2, Delta, and Eta Canis Majoris were called Al-Adzari the Virgins in medieval Arabic tradition. Marking the dog's right thigh on Bayer's atlas is Epsilon Canis Majoris, also known as Adhara. At magnitude 1. 5. It is the second brightest star in Canis Major and the 23rd brightest star in the sky. It is a blue-white supergiant of spectral type B2IAB, around 404 light-years from Earth. This star is one of the brightest known extreme ultraviolet sources in the sky. It is a binary star, the secondary is of magnitude 7. 4. Its traditional name means the Virgins, having been transferred from the group of stars to Epsilon alone. Nearby is Delta Canis Majoris, also called Wazen. It is a yellow-white supergiant of spectral type F8 Iab and magnitude 1. 84, around 1,605 light-years from Earth. With a traditional name meaning the weight, Wazen is 17 times as massive and 50,000 times as luminous as the Sun. If located in the center of the solar system, it would extend out to Earth as its diameter is 200 times that of the Sun. Only around 10 million years old, Wazen has stopped fusing hydrogen in its core. Its outer envelope is beginning to expand and cool, and in the next 100,000 years it will become a red supergiant as its core fuses heavier and heavier elements. Once it has a core of iron, it will collapse and explode as a supernova. Nestled between Adhara and Wazen lies Sigma Canis Majoris, known as Unergunite to the Burong and Wat Jabalu people, a red supergiant of spectral type K7 and that varies irregularly between magnitudes 3. 43 and 3. 51. Also called Aludra, Eta Canis Majoris is a blue-white supergiant of spectral type E5 Ya with a luminosity 176,000 times and diameter around 80 times that of the Sun. Classified as an Alpha Cygni type variable star, Aludra varies in brightness from magnitude 2. 38 to 2. 48 over a period of 4. 7 days. It is located 1,120 light years away. To the west of Adhara lies 3. Zero magnitude Zeta Canis Majoris or Furud, around 362 light years distant from Earth. It is a spectroscopic binary, whose components orbit each other every one. 85 years, the combined spectrum indicating a main star of spectral type B2. 5 volts. Between these stars and Sirius lie Omicron 1, Omicron 2, and Pi Canis Majoris. Omicron 2 is a massive supergiant star about 21 times as massive as the Sun. Only 7 million years old, it has exhausted the supply of hydrogen at its core and is now processing helium. It is an alpha Cygni variable that undergoes periodic non-radial pulsations, which cause its brightness to cycle from magnitude 2. 93 to 3. 08 over a 24. 44 day interval. Omicron 1 is an orange K-type supergiant of spectral type K2. 5 Iab that is an irregular variable star, varying between apparent magnitudes 3. 78 and 3. 99. Around 18 times as massive as the Sun, it shines with 65,000 times its luminosity. North of Sirius lie Theta and Mu Canis Majoris, Theta being the most northerly star with a Bayer designation in the constellation. Around 8 billion years old, it is an orange giant of spectral type K4I that is around as massive as the Sun but has expanded to 30 times the Sun's diameter. Mu is a multiple star system located around 1,244 light-years distant, its components discernible in a small telescope as a 5. 3 magnitude yellow-hued and 7. 1 magnitude bluish star. The brighter star is a giant of spectral type k 2 iv while the companion is a main sequence star of spectral type B9. 5 volts. New 1 Canis Majoris is a yellow-hued giant star of magnitude 5. 7, 278 light-years away it is at the threshold of naked eye visibility. 
It has a companion of magnitude 8. 1. At the southern limits of the constellation lie Kappa and Lambda Canis Majoris. Although of similar spectra and nearby each other as viewed from Earth, they are unrelated. Kappa is a Gamma Cassiopeia variable of spectral type B2 VNE, which brightened by 50% between 1963 and 1978, from magnitude 3. 96 or so to 3. 52. It is around 659 light years distant. Lambda is a blue white B type main sequence dwarf with an apparent magnitude of 4. 48 located around 423 light years from Earth. It is 3. 7 times as wide as in 5. 5 times as massive as the Sun, and shines with 940 times its luminosity. Very large telescope image of the surroundings of VY Canis Majoris Canis Major is also home to many variable stars. Easy Canis Majoris is a wolf ray star of spectral type WN4 that varies between magnitude 6. 71 and 6. 95 over a period of 3. 766 days. The cause of its variability is unknown but thought to be related to its stellar wind and rotation. VY Canis Majoris is a remote red hypergiant located approximately 3,800 light years away from Earth. It is one of largest stars known and is also one of most luminous with a radius varying from 1,420 to 2,200 times the Sun's radius, and a luminosity around 300,000 times greater than the Sun. Its current mass is about 17 plus or minus 8 solar masses, having shed material from an initial mass of 25 to 32 solar masses. VY Jama is also surrounded by a red reflection nebula that has been made by the material expelled by the strong stellar winds of its central star. W. Canis Majoris is a type of red giant known as a carbon star, a semi-regular variable, it ranges between magnitude 6. 27 and 7. 09 over a period of 160 days. A cool star, it has a surface temperature of around 2,900 K and a radius 234 times that of the Sun, its distance estimated at 1,444 to 1,450 light years from Earth. At the other extreme in size is RxJ0720. 4 to 3125, a neutron star with a radius of around 5 kilometers. Exceedingly faint, it has an apparent magnitude of 26. 6. Its spectrum and temperature appear to be mysteriously changing over several years. The nature of the changes are unclear, but it is possible they were caused by an event such as the star's absorption of an accretion disk. Tau Canis Majoris is a Beta Lyrae type eclipsing multiple star system that varies from magnitude 4. 32 to 4. 37 over 1. 28 days. Its four main component stars are hot O-type stars, with a combined mass 80 times that of the Sun and shining with 500,000 times its luminosity, but little is known of their individual properties. A fifth component, a magnitude 10 star, lies at a distance of 13,000 astronomical units. The system is only 5 million years old. UW Canis Majoris is another Beta Lyrae type star 3,000 light years from Earth. It is an eclipsing binary that ranges in magnitude from a minimum of 5. 3 to a maximum of 4. 8. It has a period of 4. 4 days. Its components are two massive hot blue stars, one a blue supergiant of spectral type 07. 5 to 8 IAB, while its companion is a slightly cooler, less evolved and less luminous supergiant of spectral type 09. 7 IAB. The stars are 200,000 and 63,000 times as luminous as the Sun. However the fainter star is the more massive at 19 solar masses to the primary 16. Arcanus Majoris is another eclipsing binary that varies from magnitude 5. 7 to 6. 34 over 1. 13 days, with a third star orbiting these two every 93 years. The shortness of the orbital period and the low ratio between the two main components make this an unusual Algol-type system. Seven star systems have been found to have planets. New 2 Canis Majoris is an aging orange giant of spectral type K1IV of apparent magnitude 3. 91 located around 64 light years distant. Around 1. 5 times as massive and 11 times as luminous as the Sun, it is orbited over a period of 763 days by a planet 2. Six times as massive as Jupiter. HD 47536 is likewise an aging orange giant found to have a planetary system, echoing the fate of the solar system in a few billion years as the sun ages and becomes a giant. 
Conversely, HD 45364 is a star 107 light years distant that is a little smaller and cooler than the Sun, of spectral type G8V, which has two planets discovered in 2008. With orbital periods of 228 and 342 days, the planets have a 3 to 2 orbital resonance, which helps stabilize the system. HD 47186 is another Sun like star with two planets. The inner, HD 47186b, takes four days to complete an orbit and has been classified as a hot Neptune, while the outer, HD 47186c, has an eccentric 3. 7 year period orbit and has a similar mass to Saturn. HD 43197 is a Sun like star around 183 light years distant that has a Jupiter sized planet with an eccentric orbit. Z Canis Majoris is a star system a mere 300,000 years old composed of two pre main sequence stars, a Fu Oriani star and a Herbige slash B star, which has brightened episodically by two magnitudes to magnitude 8 in 1987, 2000, 2004, and 2008. The more massive Herbige slash B star is enveloped in an irregular roughly spherical cocoon of dust that has an inner diameter of 20 astronomical units and outer diameter of 50 astronomical units. The cocoon has a hole in it through which light shines that covers an angle of 5 to 10 degrees of its circumference. Both stars are surrounded by a large envelope of infalling material left over from the original cloud that formed the system. Both stars are emitting jets of material, that of the Herbig a b star being much larger, 11. 7 light years long. Meanwhile, F.S. Canis Majoris is another star with infrared emissions indicating a compact shell of dust, but it appears to be a main sequence star that has absorbed material from a companion. These stars are thought to be significant contributors to interstellar dust. The band of the Milky Way goes through Canis Major, with only patchy obscurement by interstellar dust clouds. It is bright in the northeastern corner of the constellation, as well as in a triangular area between Adhara, Wazen, and Aludra, with many stars visible in binoculars. Canis Major boasts several open clusters. The only messier object is M41, an open cluster with a combined visual magnitude of 4. 5, around 2,300 light-years from Earth. Located 4 degrees south of Sirius, it contains contrasting blue, yellow and orange stars and covers an area the apparent size of the full moon, in reality around 25 light-years in diameter. Its most luminous stars have already evolved into giants. The brightest is a 6. 3 magnitude star of spectral type K3. Located in the field is 12 Canis Majoris, though this star is only 670 light years distant. NGC 2360, known as Caroline's Cluster after its discoverer Caroline Herschel, is an open cluster located 3. 5 degrees west of Mulefane and has a combined apparent magnitude of 7. 2. Around 15 light years in diameter, it is located 3,700 light years away from Earth, and has been dated to around 2. 2 billion years old. NGC 2362 is a small, compact open cluster, 5,200 light years from Earth. It contains about 60 stars, of which Tau Canis Majoris is the brightest member. Located around 3 degrees northeast of Wazen, it covers an area around 12 light years in diameter, though the stars appear huddled around Tau when seen through binoculars. It is a very young open cluster as its member stars are only a few million years old. Lying 2 degrees southwest of NGC 2362 is NGC 2354 a fainter open cluster of magnitude 6. 5, with around 15 member stars visible with binoculars. Located around 30 northeast of NGC 2360, NGC 2359 is a relatively bright emission nebula in Canis Major, with an approximate magnitude of 10, which is 10,000 light-years from Earth. The nebula is shaped by HD 56925, an unstable wolf ray at star embedded within it. ESO 489-056 is an irregular dwarf galaxy, located 16 million light-years distant. In 2003, an overdensity of stars in the region was announced to be the Canis Major Dwarf, the closest satellite galaxy to Earth. However, there remains debate over whether it represents a disrupted dwarf galaxy or in fact a variation in the thin and thick disk and spiral arm populations of the Milky Way. Investigation of the area yielded only 10 RR Lyrae variables, consistent with the Milky Way's halo and thick disk populations rather than a separate dwarf spheroidal galaxy. On the other hand, 
a globular cluster in Puppis, NGC 2298, which appears to be part of the Canis Major Dwarf System, is extremely metal poor, suggesting it did not arise from the Milky Way's thick disk, and instead is of extragalactic origin. NGC 2207 and IC 2163 are a pair of face on interacting spiral galaxies located 125 million light years from Earth. About 40 million years ago, the two galaxies had a close encounter and are now moving farther apart. Nevertheless, the smaller IC 2163 will eventually be incorporated into NGC 2207. As the interaction continues, gas and dust will be perturbed, sparking extensive star formation in both galaxies. Supernovae have been observed in NGC 2207 in 1975, 1999, 2003, and 2013. Located 16 million light-years distant, ESO 489-056 is an irregular dwarf and low-surface brightness galaxy that has one of the lowest metallicities known. Thanks for watching.